Hi, I'm Bindu Matthew, one of the directors and OSK trainer at Nursing Jobs UK. I am here with IM injection today. There is some slight update uh, in the IM injection with the NMC OSK. So I will go through the IM injection completely. Then we'll go through the, uh, the recent changes. Is that okay? In the community setting, either they will say that you already entered the house. So from there you will be able to start. If it is, if they are not saying anything, you can start from the knock knock. Okay. Knock knock. Hello. Hi. Um, is this Joe Smith house? Yes. I am Bindu Matthew, the community nurse. I am here to give you the um, give the um, one of the injection for Joe Smith. Am I okay to come in? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is there any pet in uh, house? No. Uh, so I am safe enough to come in. Yes. yes? All right then. Thank you. Um, is that okay? Can I go ahead? Um, uh, can I check your ID, please? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you tell me your full name, please? Joe Smith. Okay, Joe Smith. Um, can you tell me your full address, please? 72 Northampton and then 27 AL. And can you tell me your date of birth, please? 23rd July 1972. Oh, thank you. Uh, am I okay to call you Joe? Yes. All right, that's fine, Joe. Um, so, as I said, I'm uh, Bindu Matthew. I am the community nurse. I am here to give you the um, IM injection. That is the vitamin supplement. And um, uh, it's called injection hydroxycobalamin. Uh, are you aware about it? Yes. Is it your first time? Yes. All right, that's fine. Um, so, uh, before I go ahead, am I okay to use your um, 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 the desk for um, keeping my equipment? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Joe. And uh, am I okay to use your sink for uh, hand wash? Yes. That's good. Thank you, Joe. Um, um, so, Joe, uh, before I go ahead, um, are you allergic to any food, latex, medicine or plasters? No. Okay, thank you. And are you in any pain? No. Okay, that's fine. That's great, Joe. Um, so, um, I'm, I will be going to uh, prepare all the articles. And um, uh, as soon as I prepared everything, I will pick up back to you. Uh, if you need anything uh, in between, uh, give me a shout. Is that all right? Yeah. I, I, do you need to go to the loo or something? It will take um, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Are you comfortable there? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. I will prepare uh, everything and I come back to you. Is that okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to do my handle before I start. Okay. Palm to palm. Back of the palm with the finger interface. Other hand with the back of the palm with interface, palm to palm with interface, and fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotation motion of the thumbs, rotation motion of the thumb, uh, rotation motion of the uh, fingertips, rotation motion of the fingertips, and uh, wrist in rotation motion, and the wrist in rotation motion. My hands are dry, so I can start. Okay. So I'm going to uh, do the, um, uh, I'm going to prepare all the articles. So before that, I need to do the hand uh, hand wash. As there is um, uh, there is no sink here, I'm doing the handle instead of. Dry. So I'm using the apron. You will get the apron on the uh, wall on the um, um, in the station there. Okay, so you will be able to check the uh, apron and glove where, where it is. Accordingly, you can take it. Okay, and uh, the gloves also will be on the um, on the wall. Uh, so uh, when you are uh, when you are entering to the room itself, you will be able to see that where is the apron and glove. Accordingly, you can arrange the things. Okay. Um, so I need a tray. Uh, Examiner, can you confirm the uh, tray is clean out uh, twenty four hours? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So I need the two ml or five ml syringe. I got two ml syringe here. Uh, so it's expressed uh, June 2028 
and uh, the syringe is in date and intact so i can use that one and i need a withdraw syringe that is the filter needle that is red colored one so uh, it's in date and intact i need the 20 uh, 23 gauge needle for giving needle and this also in date and intact and I need a uh, skin wipes and it is in date and in back. I need few ghost pieces. Uh, ghost pieces as it, it's already uh, checked and in date and in back. And I need um, to, um, to pour hexidine wipes and it is in date and in back. Um, and I only need one of them. So I bought everything here. So I made another glove pack, um, or you can keep um, two gloves in uh, in your tray. And I'll make sure my sharpen are there. I do my handle again before I prepare, and uh, I wear the glove. So now I'm going to do the second ID check. So three, um, for IM injection, any of the medication, it will be uh, three ID check is important. So first ID check already done. The second ID check I'm going to do. So Joe Smith, 72 Northampton, and in 27 a year, and date of birth is 23-7-1972. Uh, I'm going to uh, give the injection hydroxocobalamin for uh, 2 p.m., uh, it's 14 hours. Injection hydroxocobalamin, 100 milligram, um, uh, it's for uh, 2 p.m. So I need to get the injection. So injection hydroxocobalamin, 50 milligram per ml, expiry 26, 7, 20, 26, batch number 3688. So that's injection hydroxocobalamin. Consider it as a ampule and make sure when you are um, cleaning and uh, opening that accordingly and disposable also accordingly so injection hydroxocobalamin 50 milligram per ml so i need 100 milligrams so i need to take 2 ml from uh, this ampule so i'm going to clean the ampule For 30 seconds, 28, 29, 30. So I'll wait for another 30 seconds. Meantime, I'll prepare my needles and syringe. So I'll open without touching the key parts. And I'm attaching it with the without touching the key parts and check the patency. Now you will be able to keep that in the tray. Now 30 seconds over. So I'm going to hold it with a uh, ghost piece. I'm going to break that one and I will be put them in the sharpie. So now I need to take 2 ml so I'll take it without uh, trying to be without any air you need to try to take a little bit extra so that once you prime you will be able to make it that correct 2 ml And if there is any air, accordingly, you need to take it as well. And you should be having the correct 2 ml once the air dispersed. And uh, uh, yeah, so I have taken um, uh, the injection. 
and now you can take out the needle with your hands without re-scooping and put them in the sharp pin and straight away you need to attach it with the giving needle. Now we need to prime it and expel the air then you should have the two ml there. Now your examiner will check and that is 2 ml. Now you can keep that in your tray. Um, you shouldn't be discard your ampule. You will be keeping that ampule until the uh, medication completed and you enter the documentation. Now you can remove the glove and the gel hands. And clean your hands. Okay. Uh, so either you can take your tray in uh, with you or if you have a um, uh, the same like um, um, trolley you can take that uh, with you okay most probably you will be able to go in with the um, tray itself so i'm um, keeping everything um, near to you so that you will be able to see everything okay Okay, Joe, I'm back with all the uh, equipments and um, uh, the injection is ready. So before I go ahead, I need to check the third ID check. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Okay, that's fine. Can you tell me your full name, please? Joe Smith. Can you tell me your date of birth, please? Seven, uh, 23rd of July, 1972. And can you tell me your uh, address, uh, including your postcode, please? 72 Northampton, NN27AL. Thank you, Joe. It's correct and uh, I can proceed. Uh, I can see that um, uh, the, um, pres um, uh, the uh, doc prescriber signature, bleach number and everything is there and uh, prescription is uh, clear, legible and valid so I can uh, proceed. Okay, so I'm just going to gel my hands and apply my glove. Um, okay, Joe, are you having this injection first time? Yes. All right, that's fine. Um, so, as I said, it's a, um, the vitamin supplement. So, normally there won't be much um, reaction, but it's still, uh, you know, if there is anything, just let us know before um, um, we will check that as well. So, is that okay? Can I um, use your left hand? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, I'm, um, are you expecting anybody to come in? Uh, no. Okay. So, um, but still, uh, is that okay? Shall I close the um, windows and um, door? Yes. Okay, that's fine. And is that okay? Can I uh, expose you a little bit? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I'm just um, exposing your hands a little bit, okay? So, I'm going to um, give injection here, okay? That's if fine. You can, if you can keep your hands like that, that's fine, okay? Um, I can see that there is no skin lesions or anything, so I will be able to proceed with this one. So, I'm just going to uh, prepare the skin. Um, skin Is that okay? Yeah. It's a uh, small alcohol wine, it's okay. So, I'm just cleaning the um, area before I am giving the injection, okay? So, I'm just going to check the um, side. So, four fingers from the acromial process. Um, if you are checking this way, you can um, extend your um, index finger. So keep your hands like that. Then extend your um, index finger with the V shape and you will be able to clean the middle of that with the uh, rotation motion for 30 second, 20, 29, 30. While uh, it will uh, dry. For another 30 seconds, I will prepare the injection. So keep one ghost piece like that. So it will be ready for, um, you need, uh, you know, as soon as you've done the injection, you will be able to keep that uh, ghost piece on your skin and it can be go to the um, sharpen, okay? So make sure you um, nearly ready with this one. Um, okay, Joe, uh, am I okay to give you the injection? 
so make sure you keep it down take off the um, this cap um, uh, you will be able to put them in the bin so hold it like a dart on your hand okay stretch the stretch it with your two fingers okay joe i'm going to inject in 90 degree okay um, I am leaving the uh, one uh, needle one centimeter uh, to see. I am slowly injecting for 20 seconds as it is 1 ml in 10 seconds. So it's 2 ml so I need to uh, slow and uh, in to, uh, need to finish in 20 seconds. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. I will leave it for another 10 seconds. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, Joe, I'm removed and I'm going to close it with the, this one and straight away put it in the bin. So I'm just, I'm not going to uh, rub it. I'm just keeping it uh, the gold space for a little bit time, just giving up like pressure. Is that okay? Are you okay? All right, that's fine. So I can see that there is no uh, blood or anything coming. Um, do you want to apply the plaster? Okay, that's fine. You don't need to worry, yeah? Okay. Um, um, it's, it's pretty much okay. There is no uh, blood coming or anything. So I can see that it's fine. Uh, if it doesn't uh, bother for the plaster, I'm not uh, going to put the plaster as well. Is that okay? Okay, I'm just covering you as well. Okay, John, I'm just going to um, write it down as well. I'm just cleaning my hands before I document. So I put my candidate name. And I put my signature and date. And time and full name, uh, your full name. And if, if you need to add some notes, that also you can add. Um, Joe had injection hydroxycobalamin. at his left hand, left upper arm, his sign after injection. Signature, date and time, if another um, wherever it's a uh, signature date and time is there, you need to complete that all. And all the uh, date will be on your exam date and will be the time uh, exactly what's uh, given on your prescription. So I have completed that. Need to do the handle again. Um, Joe, I completed my document as well. Um, so, as I said, um, I given the injection hydroxycobalamin, that's a vitamin supplement. Normally, there won't be much um, um, reaction with that one, but still you can, um, you, you may feel some itching or anything, uh, any kind of, um, any, any kind of reaction you feel, just let us know. I will be here another 30 minutes and uh, if I left from here, um, you can call us uh, on our uh, community uh, help center. 
or you can call your GP and if you feel that it's an extreme emergency you can call um, uh, you can call the ambulance and you can come to the uh, a &E. is that all right have you got any questions are you comfortable there is that okay can I dismantle all my articles and I um, uh, wash my hands okay that's fine so I'm just going to dismantle uh, all the articles I'm going to dismantle all the articles and I'm supposed to do the hand wash uh, if there is a sink you're supposed to do the hand wash here if it is there is no sink you can do the hand job okay so now I'm going ahead with the only the changes okay so I will show you the before what it was and what is the changes it been um, done as well. We managed to get to the university and see the center as well and we clarified with them also. So accordingly only I am giving this video. Okay. So you already been through the full uh, IM injection um, procedure. So now I am just going to show only the changes okay so as soon as um, I'm just keeping that one there okay so as soon as you taken the medication so before we normally keeping that one in the tray and as soon as you taken the medication okay so I'm not uh, taking now now so as soon as you taken the medication from uh, this ambule you will be you are supposed to re-scoop with one hand technique, okay? So once you've done uh, this one, then you are adjusting the volume. So now that completely changed it. You are not supposed to do any re-scooping, okay? So as soon as you take it, the injection with your, you know, this bare needle, either you will be able to take out with touching the plastic bit without touching any the needle part you only touching the plastic end of the you know the um, only the plastic end of the needle and you will be able to uh, carefully put them in the chapel okay so that is the one way so you will be able to do either this one or you will be able to can you see this um, um, two uh, edges on the sharpie so there is one is without zigzag and this is the zigzag one. So you should use the zigzag one. Okay. Insert like this. You can see that it's not touching anywhere the, um, uh, the syringe. Then you need to twist like, twist like that and you will be able to take out the syringe without touching anywhere. Okay. This method you will be able to use that straight away you can attached to the giving needle is that clear everyone thank you so we completed the IM injection uh, there is you will be able to see nowadays uh, if you are doing um, using the um, IM injection on your um, the upper arm you don't need to um, you don't need to withdraw the syringe for checking the blood but if you are using the gluteal muscle then you're supposed to uh, withdraw and see there is there any um, blood or anything coming so make sure it's in your marking criteria as well so go through that as well okay thank you